Welcome to Begin With Breath. My name's Adam. I'm a physical therapist and a Tai Chi instructor. And today we're gonna do a Tai Chi flow, the fun and easy way, perfect for beginners, but also it'll be great for people with experience as well. So you don't have to memorize anything. You don't have to get anything perfect. Just follow along and do what you see. I'll be your mirror image, but if I go one way and you go the other, I promise I won't get mad. And then also I cue the breathing, but if that part stresses you out, you can just breathe normal. You can also do this sitting in a chair, standing, or you can alternate sitting and standing as needed. You don't need a lot of space, just enough room where you can reach your arms out to the sides and enough room where you can take a step forward and a step back. So without further ado, find a place where you can do some mindful movement. Begin with your feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. You can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze. And as you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine, abdominal breathing. I always like to begin with the breath. It helps me to just come into the present moment, arriving in the body, just letting go of all the worries from the day, just for this little slice of time, just taking care of ourselves, giving ourselves this gift of mindfulness, mindful movement that we can then serve others and ourselves. All right, one more breath. This time you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale and then let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> Just letting out tension and stress. The hands can float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart. Send it back down towards the earth, sinking the chi nice and easy, nice and slow. Moving with the breath, or taking as many breaths as you need. Just setting the rhythm, the flow. One more time, sink the chi. And then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, the hands float up in front. About shoulder height, the arms get heavy floating down as we open the door. Breathing in, like mist rising from the lake. Breathing out, floating down. First movement in the eight form flow. One more time. Opening the door. This time the arms circle around as you hug the tree right out in front, rounding out. Then the hands flip. This hand here drops down and toss away. The elbow bends, the hand presses forward, palm over palm. Pulsing the monkey. Other side, toss away, fold it in. Press forward. Let's do that again. You can even lean into it. Pulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. All right, this time, stay with me. So toss away, the other hand comes on top, step in. Then this hand pushes down as the other waves in, melting down, coming back up. Breathing, letting go of any tension you don't need. And this time we'll step out to the side. As you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes right across the room. The top hand floats down, the bottom hand circles up. Coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Breathing in, breathing out. Just keep on making circles. And Probably get it. <laughs> One more time, brush knee and push. Y'all look good, actually. All right, this time sit back, the hands float back to the center. And then this hand drops down, toss away, the other hand on top, step in, and then pushing down and waving in as you soften the hips and knees and then coming back up. Feeling the sensations, bringing mindfulness to the body. This time we'll step out to the other side and as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, top hand pushes right across. Top hand floats down, bottom hand circles up. Brush knee and push, sometimes called brush knee and twist. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time. Beautiful. 
All right, this time, sit back. The hands float back to the center. And then this hand scoops under. Step in as you catch the moon, top hand goes away. We'll step out to the side. And as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon right off into the sky. Circle it back, toss away. This time the other hand comes back on top, catch the moon, the bottom hand tosses away, the other hand stays behind, parting the wild horse's mane. Let's do that one again. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. All right, let's do one more. And then sit back, the hand drags across the horizon. And step in, this hand scoops under, step in and catch the moon, top hand goes away, and then we'll step out, toss the moon, circle it back around, toss away. This time the bottom hand, or the other hand comes back on top, catch the moon, then toss away, the other hand pushes down, parting the wild horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos. Nice and easy, nice and slow, no rush. One more time. Toss away. This time the bottom hand scoops to, all the way over. The hands switch positions and then float the hands across like clouds in the sky. You can step the foot in. And then the hands switch, we'll float across again. Wave hands like clouds. You can lean into it if you want to. It's like a moving meditation. Nice and easy, drifting across. Cloudy hands. It's actually translated as the hands become clouds. So we connect with nature, moving with effortless ease. All right, one more time. This time the hands turn away and then they float down. Float back up, side to side, nice gentle sway. All right, this time this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front. The elbow bends, the hands come down. Let's do that again, just the arm at first. All right, now this time if you want, you can unweight the same side leg, lifting the knee Touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. So you can keep your foot down or you can lift it up too, either way. Fine by me. It's always meeting yourself where you're at. One more time, the rooster stands on one leg. All right, this time the arms float over to the other side. They drift up and then this hand here scoops down comes right out in front. Just keep on moving. Just the arms again, just at first, so you get the movement down. All right, now this time, if you want, you can lift the leg. Touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Let's do that one again. You can try a little higher to see how that goes. One more time. And this time the hands circle all the way around and hug the big tree right out in front. The arms open up wide. The hands begin to float down and they cross right at the heart as you step one foot in. And then step out to the side, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift the knee as you cross the wrists. Step out. This time you can point the knee to the corner. Coming down. And then this time you can kick out the heel, either straight down, straight forward, or anywhere. Let's do that again. Kicking out the heel. All right, now this time we can open up the arms as you kick the heel. 
and then coming back down. Call this one the heel kick. Breathing. Right, one more time. Then this time, step straight down, the arms float out to the sides, and then we'll step the other foot in, cross the wrists. Step out, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift the knee. Coming down. This time you can point the knee to the corner. Or straight ahead's okay too. This time you can kick out the heel, either straight down or straight forward, or anywhere in between. Let's do that one more time, just kicking out the heel. And then this time you can open up the arms as you kick. Going back down, step up and kick with heel. Or I call it the heel kick for short. <laughs> One more time. Beautiful. Step down and circle the arms around, hug the tree right out in front. The arms open. Then this hand scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. And as you step out to the side, the bottom arm passes right through the waterfall. The other hand pushes down. Circle it back around, warding off. Breathing. Letting go of tension and stress. One more time. The bottom hand scoops under, the fingertips slide down, and circle it back around, rolling back. Nice and easy, nice and slow, no rush. Nowhere to go. This time we'll toss it up on the shelf, and the arm folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift the weight forward, then slide down, toss away, press. One more time. This time the hands spread apart, draw in towards the heart, and then push back out. Push and pull, breathing in, breathing out as we learn to move like nature like the rivers and the oceans. Ah, push out one more time, and then sit back and open. Wipe across the horizon. Step in, catch the moon. We'll go to the other side. Step on out as you ward off. It's like you're passing your arm right through the water, and then circle it back around. One more time. This time the bottom hand scoops under, fingertips slide down, circle it around, rolling back. Once again, taking your time, receiving, sometimes call this yielding. All right, one more, circle it back. This time toss it up on the shelf, the arm folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift the weight forward. And slide down, toss away. We call this one the press. Once more. This time the hands spread apart, draw in, push back out. Push and pull. Breathing in. Breathing out. Once more. Tide rolls in, tide rolls out. Then sit back and open, wipe across the horizon, step in and catch the moon. We'll do each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step out and ward off, roll back, press, and push. Sit back, we'll do that on the other side, wipe across, step in, catch the moon. Each movement one time, step out and ward off. 
roll back, toss away, press, release, draw in, and push. Beautiful. Sit back, the hands float back to the center, you can step the foot in. The hands circle all the way out and away from each other, gathering from the earth the wrist cross. Bring it right up to the top and then let the hands float out to the sides again. We call this one cross hands. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, cross hands and closing. Ah, the hands this time stay nice and tall as the hands float down to the sides. Then from here you can step this foot in. Closing the door. Ah, then you can place your hands on your lower abdomen. And close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze, letting your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. I like to finish with a little standing meditation integrating the movements into the body and mind, metabolizing the experience, just feeling into the body, feeling into the breath. And then you can place your hands on your heart, expressing gratitude to yourself, being here today cultivate flexibility and balance and strength body and mind and compassion in the heart and if you want you can reach your arms right out in front making a diamond shape right in front of the heart pressing out reaching connecting sending out all your loving kindness out to the world may all beings be free from suffering May they be happy, may they be healthy, may they live with ease. And then from here, hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. So just take a moment now and just notice how you feel. And then if you like, you can type it in the comments because I love to hear about your experience. All right, so if you enjoyed that, then make sure you click on the next video right here where I'm gonna show you the best flexibility and balance exercises that you can integrate into your daily life in addition to the Tai Chi. Thank you so much and I'll see you over there.